to everybody and I would like to express my sincere thanks to the organizers of the uh, 104th Indian Science Congress and of course uh, sectional president Professor R. N. Jado to give me the opportunity to come over here and deliver my invited talk. Huh? And as you see the topic is can a selected kinetic analytical method for monitoring of chemical species. So of course it is selected so I will be giving some brief idea about the how to develop a kinetic method of analysis and basically kinetic method, kinetic analytical method and that will be slightly older data, published data and then I will come with a new all what we have done in our laboratory. So, <coughs> Uh, nowadays basically the water quality has been allied, allied with the social development index and the many of the chemical laboratory around the globe has been involved in developing analytical methods uh, especially for determination of analyzing inorganic as well as organic contaminants in water and various other systems. Thus the development of convenient directly responsive and cost effective techniques, cost effective techniques for determination of various toxicants etc pointers has become an, an, an technique has become one of the important uh, uh, methods uh, uh, important for the analytical chemist especially in aquatic, biological, environmental, geological, industrial samples has been a challenging task before the analytical chemist. This has greatly stimulated interest in research. This research leading to trace level determination and one need to go the maximum possible lowest lowest level of determination and various war time program has brought like these are the nuclear research program, synthetic program, drug discovery program etc have brought several challenges to analytical chemists. In addition this besides the concentration of toxic metals and many toxic chemicals is in increasing of industrial importance increasing day by day in environment and causing gracious pollution of the precious gift of nature. These realizations have resulted in tremendous development in analytical methods, thus the instrumental method of analysis have undergone a spectacular development in recent past. The range of analysis has been extended from PPM to PPB to PPT level. But the question comes how are we using cost effective techniques and techniques which we can develop in very simple way. But no, that's basically using expensive and sophisticated instrument like RIT, radio isotope technique, activation analysis, mass spectrometry, ICP MS, ICP OES and ICP AES etc. These are all quite toxic chemicals, quite uh, costly chemicals. This just gives the idea about that, that kinetic method of analysis which is comparable to activation analysis, gas chromatography, atomic absorption etc. and superior to many. This is the kinetic method of analysis, this is a range where it can up to 10 to the power minus 13 gram huh? and then to the to the support of many of the many of the systems. Huh? Thus I will be sketching many of the slides. The popularity is reflected in this slide. Catalytic kinetic method is quite popular and one of these I will be basically discussing the catalyzed ligands substitution reaction on octahedral complexes. Quite simple. So far you have heard about the more about organic chemistry and development and basically the me mechanism related to organic organic compounds etc. But I will be taking you to slightly different direction. Huh? So here are the fundamental importance basically catalyzed reactions are fundamental importance not only in synthetic chemistry but also in analytical chemistry basically. So one can many possibility of analytical interest analytical application can be provided by the simple use of the ligand substitution reaction as well as oxidation reaction. Hmm? So, but it's one of the problem is there or it is necessary to have mechanistic anatomy of the reaction. But those who are not good in kinetics and basically not knowing so alternative is there alternatively one mechanistically documented reaction can be taken adopted for the development of kinetic method of analysis huh? or kinetic method. Here heavy metals are the major contributor to the environment huh? and we were looking for basically in this case because of their involvement in many natural, industrial and basically and common way we can say the anthropogenic processes. So we are looking for a CKM basically CKM is catalytic kinetic method basically that is the easiest way to do that easier to do for the determination of this. So work was object work was started with the development of a sensitive, selective, reproducible, easy adaptable besides the detailed understanding of the mechanism. So I will be skipping more about the mechanism part and just I will show you the data. 
very simple reaction was taken FeCN6 and MPZ, MPZ N methyl pyrazinium iodide, it is one of the reaction and it gives this FeCN5 MPZ and this is a list level basically FeCN5 list level cyano complex, it does not go so easily ligand substitution reaction. But based on the catalyst, using the catalyst it can be made faster, it is quite slow. So it is a, what it forms basically it is uh, cyano complexes and list level cyano complexes but thermal or U equation is a reversible process and it FeCN5 H2O echo penta cyanoferrate complex and which, which on rea reaction with MPZ it gives this complex FeCN5 MPZ complex which is intense blue color complex and it absorbs at 655 nanometer and this form the basis for this for this this is a simple that the product as well as as well as of uh, as well as reactants UV visible spectrum. And here is the UV visible spectrum for the product and what we can see in this case there is no interference at all with the product, there is a, or with the reactants, reactant does not absorb and it is 655 nanometer is the, so it is the best suited reaction for the analytical application. Based on the previous react, previous mechanism which has been proposed for this reaction, this is the old someone proposed it. this mechanism, this place in this, this way and this on slide reaction. For many metals catalyzes the reaction, mercury is the one of the very strong catalyst for this because the sulfide and mercury they are based on the soft principle, soft acid and hard base principle, this reaction between mercury and cyanide is quite fast eh? and that is what one of the, the Hg obstruct one of the cyanide to form HgCN and intermediate HgCN reacts with Hg because this reacts in acidic medium and it regenerate the catalyst and that is what the principle of the catalyst, the catalyst must be regenerated at the end of the reaction. If the catalyst is not regenerated at the end of reaction, the reaction is not considered as a catalyst, it may be just simple promoter reaction etc. Et and this shows that the optimization of the reaction was carried out, optimization means we want to always have the highest possible rate and maximum possible rate for this reaction and in this case optimization, based on this optimization what you can see that the pH at the pH 5 the rate of the reaction is highest. I am not going to explain here why it is low in another side, why it is low in another side, highest in another side. And this is just giving the basically to give the explanation why the rate changes so drastically. Then the dependence was also carried out on FECN, FECN 4 and based on that it was initially found that the lower concentration first order and higher concentration fractional order, order those uh, or of course, if, according to physical chemistry, you know the order can be fractional. Huh? Here also optimization was done and in this region, so the selection was made for optimized concentration 5 into 10 to the power minus 5 molar. Hmm? This is the same and that here we are interested in the, in the knowing, basically the first thing to know because especially in development of method, we want to know what is the linear range for the determination. So, two things we are interested that this is the linear range. And why this is so fast, how the changing role of mercury enhances or decreases the rate of the reaction. So, we were more interested in this and you can see in this case up to 3 into 10 to the, from 1 into 10 to the power minus 7 to 3 into 10 to the power 3.5 into 10 to the power minus 6 means quite long range is the, the concentration, it is linear. This is just explanation, this gives the idea about the explanation why the so drastic change in the rate of the reaction when the, with the respect to the catalyst. Of course, uh, some other parts when we do the kinetics, we need to study the temperature and as well as the ionic strength dependence. I'm skipping this slide just quickly. And we need to know so far it, it shows about the idea, gives the idea that the mechanism will be dissociative. So, we need to find out whether the mechanism is really dissociative or interchange dissociative. All it is basically the course material, people study when in MSc classes, etc. So, in this case, we especially those ergaster who do not know about the concentration, water also have concentration and it is 55.5 molar. Huh? So, uh, uh, water concentration was decreased by adding, making it a binary solvent, making by addition of the alcohol and then rate of the reaction was decreased as the concentration of water decreased. So, 55 molar to 35, 55 molar to 35 rate decrease. Had the here, if the D mechanism were to be followed, the rate would have been insensitive to the variation of the variation of the concentration of the solvent, huh? but in this case it was quite sensitive. So, it proved that is the ID mechanism. Based on this, this is a mechanism proposed 
and in this case always remember in case of the catalyzed reaction always invariably uncatalyzed reaction takes place it may be quite slow may be immeasurable but invariably catalyzed reaction will take uncatalyzed reaction has to take place and that's why this is the catalyzed path and this is the uncatalyzed path based on this it is two basically this uh, two paths one is the catalyzed path, uncatalyzed path and catalyzed path. So, this gives the idea about the expression. So, expression, overall expression is catalyzed path, uncatalyzed path as well as catalyzed path. Based on this, on mathematical manipulation, we were able to get under this condition K efficiency. K is not potassium, basically the rate one of the equilibrium constant in the mechanism. So, here is K efficiency 4 minus concentration is much lower than this. Then what you can see the rate is directly proportional to the concentration and that is what our job that we need to find out the rate should be directly proportional to the concentration of the uh, of the analyte. So, this also give can give but also in this case here this one this concentration will be much greater than 1 then in that case the rate will be directly related to the concentration of the mercury hmm? and based on this the or calibration curves were prepared. What I want to show especially in this case the sensitivity is very very high and sensitivity for after 15 minutes, after 20 minutes, after 25 minute measurement you can see the 5 into 5.4 10 to the power 4 and quite high sensitivity. So, because higher the slope greater the sensitivity. Based on this we were able to form the recovery experiment of the so to validate the analytical applicability recovery experiment and you can see the maximum error found was 2.7 percent and is quite suited quite sensitive reaction. One of the very important especially in kinetic method of analysis and kinetics is that we need to assess the reaction in terms of the temperature huh? and if there is so we need to know whether this reaction can be employed for the analytical application. So, we did basically the rate due to uncatalyzed reaction and rate due to catalyzed reaction. So, K rate constant basically catalyzed reaction or uncatalyzed reaction it changes 2.8 degree per degree rise in temperature. So, even if one does not have a very high sensitive thermostatic bath, but then this reaction can be applied and one of the important thing is to need to know about the detection limit for any method and detection limit is 7.2 ppb mil more basically nanogram per milliliter. The general precision and accuracy was determined by studying in presence of the difference different interference and one can see this that it is basically 160 molar was taken and it these most of them are not able to not uh, uh, interfere and this is as I said that I will be explaining one of the old data and that is what this is all synthetic mixture was applied and this was published in uh, 2005 this one, one of these this, this gives the detailed principle. Another reaction system applied for the similar type of reaction and in this one is efficient 5 efficient 6 4 minus means hexa sign of rate 2 and alpha nitroso beta nephthol but difference from the first and the second this is less insensitive, this is less sensitive I can say in comparison to previous, but other advantage which there, this is 10 times longer range than the previous one. Previous one is having 20 nanogram or 20 ppb, uh, ppb to 200, in this one is 200 to 2000. This one also gives the best based on the, this is the complex form and which in intensely blue color which absorbs at 6. 30 nanometer. This gives us idea about the spectrum of the complex with the time. This is the mechanism proposed. Based on this mechanism again here we were able to find out the similar type of expression based on the mathematical manipulation similar type of expression. The total rate is directly proportional to the mercury concentration. This is the calibration curve for this reaction and in this case especially you can see the range is 200 and that is what I said it is less sensitive in the in, in comparison to the previous previous system I saw, but this has very long range of concentration one can determine long range of concentration. This also show about the again about the recovery experiment and in this case also the the uh, percentage error this shows that standard deviation and of course there is a percentage error relative relative standard deviation the presented in relative standard deviation mean of the three determination. Again the tolerance limit are shown basically these are up to 1000 times they no interference this is up to 100 times these are 100 times no interference. But this one because of the soft hard and base principle they are basically the soft, uh, soft ligand and easily connect uh, with the mercury. And again this application of this synthetic mixture 
synthetic sample uh, and this determination is done synthetic sample after 15 minutes using 15 minutes calibration equation. This is uh, also the published data. Then another system we have used for the this one is a for basically the the uh, the oxidation reaction and it is virtually oxidation of citric acid and based on this we were able to find the method for the determination of copper in different this is the mechanism mechanism I will not be showing much detail and not discussing one of the very important thing in this case in this mechanism is here that the FeCN6 I mean ferricyanide and ferrocyanide are in equilibrium and that has to be justified and it was justified on the basis of this isovestic point which shows that these two species are in equilibrium. Again, uh, based on the mechanism, the similar type of equation was formed and then again recovery experiments was performed. In this case, long range, quite long range of concentration means three order of magnitude, 10 to the power minus 4 to 10 to the power minus 3. So, three order of magnitude was determined. Analytical application, again this was published basically on 2005 and analytical, analytical chemical acta, one of the top class journals. Uh, here is uh, another method for the copper and that published in microchemica at that. Because just I am because of the time, <laughs> chair has given indication to me, so I have to little bit speak. Then we also extended the kinetic method of analysis for determination of organosulfur compound, OSC, organosulfur compound, and there several organosulfur compounds have been determined, like here is cysteine and MNDT, they are two organosulfur compounds. Same system was used, same previous system was used and mechanism was proposed and based on this, this mechanism. In this case, only what I want to show that the uncatalyzed path has been completely ignored because in presence of the inhibitor, organosulfur compounds act as an inhibitor, this uncatalyzed path becomes extremely slow and not, not measurable at all. And that is what I indicate the inhibitor and inhibitor means cysteine and malonitrile diethylate MNDT, what I had shown to you, both the compounds have been determined. There are determination and of course the detection limit uh, in and of course this is uh, much almost all PP much, uh, quite lower than the PPV level. They are all data and this also is appear in 2000 uh, microchemical journal. These are another kinetic method which has been again another one for the cysteine and thiosulfate and this one uh, also microchemical journal. Just I will be showing after that only the some of the method because of the time constraint. Ruthenium, this system is used, this is the system, uh, oxidation of this using again with the uh, FE hexacyanoferate third uh, means ferricyanide. Then we have another determination of ruthenium and that is basically again the highly sensitive kinetic. This is quite sensitive uh, procedure. Work. Then we have another iodolytonic acid uh, determination of using novel inhibitory kinetic. So, system used in this case was the first time used and that is why we have put the novel. Again, here is another aspect of chemical acta, it is published and the determination of mercury because the, these are the selective I am showing, not all. Huh? Then here uh, again we have used some assay of uh, aniline and this is not on spectrophotometry but based on the fluorescence quenching method we develop the sensor and that involves the principle of, principle of uh, uh, kinetic method of analysis. Selenium, we, we are able to determine and selenium, not only this, the kinetic method of analysis we have used to do a speciation analysis. So, selenium exists in two important oxidation states and both the important oxidation state has been analyzed using this method and it has been published one of the uh, highest impact factor in its type journal of hazardous material and it was published in 2000, that is A ranking journal. Then here, spectrochem kaeksa, this again we have this ASR journal, we use the same principle, this is ASR journal and this is uh, nitrate and nitrite in leafy vegetable, etc. Again, in the another one in food chemistry and in a basically root vegetable, determination of nitrate in root vegetable. Okay. This is of course a ranking journal and it is basically assessment in the fruit vegetable. Please conclude sir. Yes. So, these are the some of the publications, those who are interested can contact me and we have and always have, these are some of the publications. So, in addition we have also done some of the removal of the contaminants and especially fluoride and some other uranium etc. One of uh, yesterday, Professor Eddie Savant was sitting here and we have also one of from his group 
I had some collaboration and basically we are able to publish one of these. That will be the last paper I will be showing you in 2017. This is again a chloride and it is very simple use in this case is lemon, lemon leaf and it is chemically treated and it has been used and published in microchemical journal. Then this one is for thallium uh, uh, in environmental sample. It is also from one of my collaboration from through India, from India. Then we were also able to see this one published in Talenta just recently, 2015 publication. Again, this is in Talenta, another cadmium determination. Then again, of course, it, the folate, one of the very, very important chemical, especially for uh, women, and uh, it is uh, it is required, and especially for pregnant women. So it is found determined especially and found in two, uh, and published in 2015. This is another in especially. Uh, this is something about the nano composite, so we have moved little bit to nano chemistry, so this is not much important. So this is again determination of palladium, it is 2015. There are two here, again one is a removal, removal of chloride using very cheap dolomite, cheap material dolomite and then this another is basically the nano gold determination using uh, PB determination using gold nano particles. These are some more. This is one I was talking about this that this was just last publication, most recent one with the AD Sound, but especially the Garole is his student and he contacted me somehow and it got published. Huh? So what I have I we can conclude that based on the ligand substitution reaction uh, of kinetics on oxidation kinetics can be very well applied uh, applicable to the development of analytical method for the stress determination of various types of chemical species and toxicant species of biological interest, uh, environmental pollutants, etc. And this HD determination is feasible by use of this reaction, copper determination is feasible by use of these two reactions. These are other for the MNDP organic compounds. Of course, among the various methods used. The catalytic kinetic methods are becoming more popular methods because of the simplicity, high sensitivity, reproducibility, and easy adaptability and economic. And these are the acknowledgments, some of the, my uh, collaborators, of course they are uh, uh, from Japan and of course uh, uh, all my collaborators to here, um, uh, the University of Texas. He was recently, recently just last month he visited my university for four days. Uh, Professor P. K. Das Gupta, he is basically an American citizen, and then of course R. M. Naik, Lucknow University. There are some, and of course, of course, I have just this morning I added Professor Eddie Savan. Basically, I have collaboration, but uh, he is a student, Garola, Garola is here. And thanks to you all. And this is the term used in in trivial language that is called Vinaka Bakalevu. Thank you very much.